To ensure your iPad performs optimally and lasts longer, it's important to shut it down properly from time to time. Shutting down your device completely, rather than just putting it to sleep or leaving it unused, offers several significant advantages. This guide will explain why it's crucial to properly shut down your iPad and provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. Step 1. Locate the power button. The power button's location may vary depending on your iPad model. Step 2. Hold down the power button. For iPads with a home button, click and hold the power button located on the top right corner. For iPads without a home button, click and hold the on-off button and either the volume up or down button simultaneously until the shutdown options appear on the screen. Step 3. Slide to power off. Swipe the slider from left to right to confirm you want to shut down the device. Step 4. Confirm shutdown. After sliding the power off slider, you may see a confirmation message asking if you want to shut down your device. Ensure any important work or unsaved data is saved before proceeding. Once ready, tap the Confirm or Shut Down button. The screen will go dark, indicating the iPad is turned off. Restarting your iPad after a complete shutdown. After properly shutting down your iPad, you may need to turn it back on. Follow these steps to power on your iPad. Step 1. Rebooting the iPad. Press and hold the power button until the Apple logo appears on the screen, indicating the device is starting up. Refer to your user manual or Apple's support documentation for any model-specific instructions. Step 2. Waiting for startup sequence. The iPad will go through a startup sequence, which usually takes one to two minutes. Be patient and avoid any interruptions during this time to prevent system issues. Step 3. Using a passcode to unlock your iPad. Once the startup sequence finishes, the lock screen will appear. Enter your device passcode or use Touch ID or Face ID to unlock the device. Your iPad is now ready for use. What if the iPad won't turn on? If your iPad doesn't respond when you try to turn it on, you can force restart it. For iPads with a home button, press and hold both the power button and the home button simultaneously for 5 to 10 seconds. For iPads without a home button, click and release the volume up button followed by the volume down button. Then hold down the power button until the Apple logo appears on screen. Conclusion. Properly shutting down your iPad ensures it remains in good working condition and prolongs its lifespan. Benefits of shutting down your iPad. Battery life preservation. Shutting down your iPad stops background processes and apps from using up battery power, which can increase the time until you need to charge the battery again. Regularly shutting down your iPad can also extend the overall lifespan of the battery. System refresh and performance boost. Like a computer, your iPad accumulates temporary files and processes over time. Shutting it down clears these files and processes, giving your device a fresh start. You will notice faster speeds and more responsiveness on your iPad. Regular shutdowns can prevent sluggishness and ensure smooth operation. Troubleshooting potential issues. If you encounter minor glitches, software conflicts, or unresponsive apps, a complete shutdown can help. This action clears the RAM and resets system components, often resolving many software-related issues. It's an easy troubleshooting step that can fix problems before you need to seek additional help.